Baguette here. Today I'm excited with the gun I'm bringing you folks. I've had this gun for months now and I'm finally doing a review on it, but it's a good one. It is the Beretta 92FS and this happens to be the Inox variation of the pistol. So let's first go over what this pistol is. This is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol. It is double and single action, which means you can squeeze the trigger. You can see that hammer going back and fire around. So that's a heavy double action trigger pull. It's probably around 10 pounds. And after you fire that first round, under recoil, the slide comes back, chambers your next round. You can see the hammer's back and the trigger move back for a sweet single action pull. So this is a double stack, nine millimeter. That's a New York Magazine right there, but you can see this, they hold tens rounds, but average capacity of this pistol is 15 rounds. You can also get 17 and 18 round mags, and they also make some big like 30 round magazine for this. So let's go ahead, what makes this the Inox version? It's all stainless steel, so we'll take a look right there at the barrel. You can see stainless steel and nine by 19, nine millimeter. So the barrel stainless, the slide stainless, there's a couple numerous other parts inside that are stainless, and the frame is aluminum and it's anodized to you know, try to get it to match the stainless steel on the top as well as possible. But it is a very attractive gun. And everybody I show this to is just like, wow, they love this. And you know, it's, it's, it's pricey. I bought this used, I got it from a guy in Long Island and I paid $500 for it. And this just looked it up this morning at list for $700 on Bud's Gun Shop. So, you know, it, it's gonna probably get it out of a gun store, probably at least cost you $750. So let's go ahead, we'll get a closer look at it. You know, give you this right here. So that's Pietro Beretta, Gardone, Vermont. Very cool, 92 FS. So let's go over the controls of this. So obviously you have your trigger right there. You have your hammer right there. And this is a decocker. So we'll go ahead, we'll cock the hammer. See the trigger comes back for that single action pull. And right now you can move that little lever, decox it. And then that also engages a safety. So the trigger is totally disengaged right now. You put that back up and the gun will fire in double action mode again and we'll keep on firing in double action mode. So that's pretty cool, it has a restrike capability. The other controls of it, your magazine release right there in your pretty standard position. And then you have your slide stop lever right there. We'll just take, give you a good look at that. And your takedown lever. And so the takedown of this is actually quite wonderful. I, I really enjoy it. So basically you're just gonna hit that little button right there. You push that. Flip that little lever down and the whole thing just like comes apart, it's brainless. So we'll give you a closer look at this with the slide retracted. The interesting thing about this gun, this is an open slide pistol, which means as you can see, there's the barrel's not shrouded with the slide, which adds to how beautiful this gun is and definitely gives it a, a cool look. And you know, you can really see the internals in there well, see what's going on, see the feed ramp in the barrel. It aids in clearing debris and malfunctions. And it's very hard for this pistol to hang up because of this open slide design. You don't have to take my word for it, but this is 100% reliable. It's just, just a wonderful shooting gun and wonderfully reliable gun. And you can look at all the military records of this. This has been in service in the United States military from 1985 to 2017. And they just retired this and they took the Pig, SIG P329 millimeter. That's a striker fired gun. So that was the, the knock against these is that double action first shot trigger pull. The way you carry this gun is you chamber around and then you use the decocker and you drop the hammer on the round safely. So your safety would be that 10 pound double action trigger pull. And that's the way these guns are carried. And I love that. Some people do not like that, but if you train with it, you practice with it, it's just a wonderful system. And as you know, I'm a big fan of my SIG P226. So the history of this gun with Beretta, these originally came out, were designed in 1972, and they came into service in 1975. So this has been around for a while. This is a modern day classic, which is, which is really neat. And it's still a viable pistol today. I don't feel underarmed or at a disadvantage against you know somebody with a modern, polymer gun that striker fired I think this is this is, is just as good as one of those and maybe maybe even better and it probably just depends on the user also what's interesting go to Wikipedia check out the Wikipedia page in this and you'll see a list of the countries and on the bottom of it, it has all the flags of all the different countries it uses police departments um, all sorts of branches of the military and this gun is the, the service record of this gun is fantastic it's just everywhere 
but very, very interesting to read up on this. The other thing I'll talk about is how many variations Bread has made of these. Bread has just made so many variations of these. They have a compact model and I have a video of the, the compact on my channel, so please check that out. That's a wonderful pistol review and a wonderful pistol to do a review on and that's one of my favorites. But so they, this is the Inox model. We've talked about it with stainless steel upper and then the receivers is aluminum. They also make this pistol, the most common variation is just a black 92 FS. They, but one of the newer models I like, I believe this is designated as the M9. But one of the ones I'm most excited about is the newest one that they've come out, which is the one that they put in the military trials. So I believe it's the M9A3 and it's basically a tan version of this you know, designed for most of where our servicemen are going, you know, overseas, or they're operating in desert conditions, just designed to blend in with sand over there, obviously. And I think that pistol is very cool because what they've done is you can see that little extra hump here in the back of the pistol. They've trimmed, that, trimmed down the hand grip because this is a large pistol and you could probably chamber 10 millimeter in this if you wanted such a big pistol. I don't have big hands and you can see my hand going around that, that there's a lot of room, like my thumb right there can barely, you know, touch my middle finger. But I, I would be very excited to shoot that pistol. It is expensive. I think those are running at least $800 right now. But I think that that trim down version, it's nice. The other thing that they did with that pistol, if you see that front sight, that is permanent. That is welded as part of the casting for this upper slide. And so you cannot remove that front sight. The rear sight, as you can see, is dovetailed in there. But the front is not. So you have to live with that with this model right here. But I would be excited to get my hands on that new one. If anybody has one, they want to loan me so I can do a review on it, I would be excited. So I would love it with a little smaller hand grip and I would love to put night sights in something like this because I think this is an excellent pistol and you know, it's an excellent self-defense pistol. And as you know, I'm a big fan of nine millimeter. I love nine millimeter pistols. They're cheap to shoot. Nine millimeter will do the job and they're nice shooting and you can let somebody else shoot this pistol that's not familiar it's not a good pistol shooter and they can hit with this thing. Also people that are good pistol shooters that are experienced with them, they love these things. And I just think these, this is just a wonderful gun. So right now we've got my pistol, it's empty. We're gonna give you a quick function on how this works immediately so you can see the double single action of this pistol. So we'll put our mag in here. This is the way you're gonna carry the pistol. We're racking around. So right now we know we got one in the pipe and we got a loaded magazine in there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna decock it. So now the hammer is down. We got, a tent, we got it on double action, and then the second and the consecutive shots will be all single action. So what we'll do is we'll holster it, and this is a safe way to carry this pistol right here. So let's go ahead, we'll do a little shooting with this thing and show you how it works. So you can see this wing works quite well. There's not much recoil, quite manageable to shoot this. And just, uh, just a wonderful pistol. So we'll go ahead, we'll get another mag going and we will shoot, we'll see if we can hit some targets. So her, since we're in Vermont right now, we have purchased, this is a 15 round and this is a, that Italian magazine. You can see that's 15 rounds. This is the standard capacity for this pistol. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will rack around it. We'll decock it and we'll holster it again. Let's go ahead and shoot some of my targets here. I can see I missed a few times, but I'm connecting with it pretty well. I'm happy. And that's, those plates are a pretty good distance. So another thing I'd like to talk about too with these pistols since they've been around for such a long time, there's all sorts of aftermarket parts for these things and there's a lot of different kinds of magazines. This magazine right here is made by Metgar and this is the best magazine I have for this pistol. This is actually the M9 magazine. And the cool thing about the M9 magazines, these are stainless steel and they have this really nice slick coating on them. So comparing this M9 magazine to, this is an original, this is one is made, this is an original Beretta made in Italy, Italian magazine. 
and this is a you know 10 round New York mag but this has this it probably is some sort of a nitride finish on it it's, it's fine it works but these are the magazines that we're having problem with in Afghanistan and Iraq you know picking up dust and you can feel it inserting it into the handgun it's not as smooth this M9 magazine is silky smooth and you can just you can feel the difference putting that in there it makes a huge difference much nicer to load it to the so I would watch when you purchase magazines for one of these pistols that you that you get good ones and I recommend these stainless M9 mags these are these are far superior than, than any other magazine for, for these pistols. Also capacity too. The standard capacity for this pistol is 15 rounds. You can get, I believe, 17 and 18 rounders for it. And then you can get the extended magazines to stick out the bottom that'll hold 30, like 30 or so rounds. So let's go ahead and let's do some shooting with this thing and see, see how well I can hit my targets. And you can see behind me, we got a lot of snow out here today. I've got some soda cans and right above the soda cans I got some plates. I got my six inch plate up there and I have my 12 inch plate up there. So we'll do a little whacking and we'll see what we can do with the, uh, with the Beretta 92 FS Inox version. So folks, we've got some soda cans down there and we are going to go for some accuracy and work these 12 ounce soda cans and see what kind of, uh, we're not super far away from these, but we're, we're a solid 30, you know, 10 yards from these, maybe a little more 12, 13 yards, but we'll go to town on them. So we've got the 15 rounder loaded up here. You know, we've got our targets out here. We're gonna go ahead, we'll, we'll try to do some rapid fire, see how many shots I can get, how quickly I can get them on, on my, just a 12 inch steel plate. So we connected with most of them and then we connected with that first double action shot, which is cool. So, you know, I'm definitely not the master pistol shooter, but as you can see, this is capable of good accuracy and with practice, that first double action trigger pull is not a problem. Definitely add some time to it, but I definitely should practice more, get it even quicker. So folks, I wanted to touch on another point of this wonderful pistol. And as you can see, you know, I've, I'm pretty happy with the way I've shot. Ted missed a few more times than I would have liked to, but you know, who, who doesn't? Yeah, I, you'd always like to hit your targets more, but quite happy with how, you know, how this is functioning. And that brings me to my next point that this, I will call this, these are widely available. Um, you can go into Bud's Gun Shop. I believe right now there's something like 53 or variants of this for sale just on their site. And you can go on Gun Broker and probably find even more or go to your local gun shop. And usually most gun shops will have some of these for sale. This is an investment grade firearm. Um, you know, it's not the best investment, but this isn't a bad investment. I have no doubt that you folks know I take care of my firearms pretty well. I always clean them after I use them. I store them, you know, in my safes. And I, you know, I have moisture absorb absorbing silicone in there. And my firearms, they don't deteriorate. They always stay in nice condition. This is a gun that I believe I paid $500 for this, that I can use this, have this for 10 years, 20 years. and probably at least get my $500 back, if not sell it for more. And that's definitely the way I'm trending towards firearms. And those black polymer guns don't give you that. And they're striker fire, and there's nothing wrong with those. There's nothing wrong with my Glock 19. I, lo I still love that gun, that's a wonderful gun. And if that was the only handgun I owned, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But th this is just a little bit better. And this is, this is finely machined. This is very well made. Uh, there's no machining marks on this anywhere. The fit and finish on this is just, it's just wonderful. Um, it, it's nice to look at, and people dig these things. And so there's an excellent resale of value for these. Not everybody will want one of these, but they are they are cool. The
As you can see, I'm pretty good with this. I definitely enjoy shooting this, and I'm, I feel pretty competent with, with my skill level at this. And uh, anybody that's been in the military in the last 30 years has used one of these and has probably trained on one of these and understands how to use these. The military runs competitions with these. This is definitely a competition-grade pistol, and you, you can use this. And as you can see, you can hit targets at good distances with this quickly and accurately. It's an inherently accurate pistol. Um, because of the long barrel, the tight lockup on this thing, and just, you know, the solid construction of this. And it's also hammer-fired single action, so that works very well for inherent accuracy of a pistol. But I think these are good investments, and I believe there is the Beretta has, I forget what it's called, the Centennial Edition, and it's still for sale. Those are expensive. Those are almost $3,000, but that's probably a solid investment. And I believe all of these are, even those old Ital Italian police trade-in models. Those are going to be excellent investments. For 300 bucks, 350 dollars, how can you go wrong? You got a good nine millimeter pistol that'll hold 15 rounds of nine millimeter. You know, I would trust my life to this pistol. Don't just go out and buy one. Go on the website, look at them. Go, you know, check out Wikipedia, check out Beretta's website, look at all the models out there, and figure out which one is right for you. But this is definitely probably the most common one. It's the 92 FS. One other thing I want to touch on is the cool factor. These guns are cool. Uh, they look cool. And the other neat thing about these is the movies these have been. And one of my all-time favorite movies is Die Hard. I love Die Hard, the original with Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis carries this. He carries the 92 FS through that entire movie. What's cooler than that? Um, also, Lethal Weapon. I love Lethal Weapon. Mel Gibson carries one of these through the entire movie. How cool is that? Uh, and I just think that's wonderful. <clears throat> it always gets me to see somebody, you know, I've looked up to since I've been a child. Those movies came out when I was a kid in, in the 80s, and they were rocking these bread in 92 FSs, and, you know, I, I, I always dig it. And as soon as I got one of these, I'm like, this is the gun Bruce Willis had. You know, this is the gun Mel Gibson carried. And, you know, he was shooting at helicopters and at bad guys, and I just, you know, I'm a little dorky, but, you know, it's all good. It's not a good piece of movie history, you know, and this is definitely, you know, some modern American, you know, uh, icon from, from the 80s. But, folks, I want to thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. And if anybody has that new one that I believe it's the M9A3, definitely give me a heads up and see if you, you know, I'd love to, love to get it off your hands for a day or two to do a review of it. But, you know, folks, if you want a good double single action pistol, and if you've never shot one of these, you know, try to shoot one. And I, I, th these are good investments. And if you can buy one, pick one up, it's going to hold its value. And I bet they'll, they'll rise over time because machining costs go up. And, you know, this is all machined aluminum and steel. And it's, uh, it's definitely cool. And it's, this is a, also a great gun to learn on. Um, it's, it's heavy, it shoots smooth, it's got beautiful weight behind it. Not the easiest gun to carry, but not the worst either. But just, just a lovely pistol and, and a lot of fun to shoot. And it's definitely got a super cool factor. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I love this gun. I think it's just wonderful. And the other things, the aftermarket accessories for it are just, they're all over the place. Um, you know, you can get new hand grips for it. You can get the rails for it. You know, get a rail, get one with a rail and doctor the thing all up the way you like it. But... Folks, thanks for watching. Feel free to give me a thumbs up on this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll get back to them as quick as I can. I, I, this is